congratulations on joining the Bridgerton universe. It's such Thank you. Thank you an much. amazing franchise. Yes, absolutely. And I know that we're waiting to release these interviews because we want people to have a chance to see the show because I just can't wait to talk about the relationship between <laughs> your two characters. I can't be stopped. I no. mean, it's so exciting to see people have been begging for this in the Bridgerton universe. So I want to ask how it feels to be bringing that representation to the screen. This is for both of you. Um, we, we are both incredibly proud mm -hmm. to to be bringing the first LGBTQ plus storyline to the Bridgerton universe. It's so important that people feel represented by what they see in film and television. And and Bridgerton is famously inclusive and diverse. And it's yeah, it's it's been such a privilege, and mm. I am so proud. Yeah, and it's it's just it's it's so important that you know, be it a, a period show, be it a, a contemporary show, that any story that's now told in any medium that it, it reflects the society in which we live, that people can see themselves within these characters. And I think this this show so beautifully deals with so many universal themes that we all deal with on a day to day basis. And Shonda's created such rich, complex characters that. Um, and we get to tell a couple of their of their stories in amongst this other brilliant cast. It's it's a really really proud moment for me and for Fred and for everyone in this cast. I think absolutely, it's so great to see because it's such a fantasy to want to live there, but then to also see that everyone can really feel connected to these characters even now is so refreshing. They appear to be satisfied. They seem very content. I would hope for more news than the appearance of satisfaction and contentment. They are a wonder together. He is smitten with her beauty. Really? King George is smitten? I would not dare to define the emotions of the king. Of course not. I only meant that he seems happy. And what evidence of this? A great deal of talking and walking. Laughter. There is laughter. It warms the heart to witness. What of their relations? Relations? Their marital bonds. Bonds? The Dowager Princess wishes to confirm that the marriage has been consummated. Sexually. She asks for the good of the country, of course. Of, of course. And I also know that, you know, so many Bridgerton fans know that when they're seeing this, they're going to see some steamy scenes. They're definitely known for that. So was that intimidating for you as actors going into the show? I, I think, um, yeah, I think any intimate scene is intimidating because it requires a, a vulnerability from yeah. the actor. And that, you know, that's to do with many things. But one of it is kind of the nudity that's involved being in a, in a, in a room filled with lots of people is is an intimidating thing. But actually, we were... Yeah, I was I was nervous, but we were incredibly well looked after by our brilliant intimacy coordinators, Lizzie Tolbert and Lucy Fennell, and then our amazing director, Tom Barrack, who was also um, very, very kind and very sensitive. And I felt like we had such a voice mm -hmm. in that room. Um, I felt so safe. And then also, testament to this guy, he's brilliant. And we 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 had such a good rapport and we're such good friends that it was it was actually I mean, very easy and a joy. Vice versa. And I, I just to add to that, the... the the way Lucy Fanon and Lizzie have you created such a comfortable and respectful set just made, you know, doing them seem so much easier. You, you sort of forgot about what was going on and we could just you could just throw ourselves into into the work and, and tell the story and play this, the scene out as as was needed. And Sam, I did want to ask, I mean, you also your character has a relationship with Charlotte as well. And people have seen that in the first two seasons, but now they're diving in more. So can you just tell us about their dynamic and how it was working with India? Yeah, I, working with India is was such a privilege. She is a tour de force. I can't I can't speak highly enough of her performance in this. She makes everything so so easy. She's playful. She's incredibly creative. She's got the most wonderful imagination. Your Highness, walk with me. I have questions. Uh, that is not how it is done, Your Highness. What do you mean? Well, you walk there and I walk back here, Your Highness. You cannot walk with me. I'm always with you, Your Highness. Five paces behind. Five paces behind? Five paces behind. Always? Always, Your Highness. You are always there. Behind me, just all the time? Whenever you need me, Your Highness. What is your name? Brimsley, Your Highness. Brimsley. 
Tell me about the king. He is the king, your highness. Yes, and? He is the ruler of Great Britain and Ireland and the colonies, your highness. Yes. He has been monarch since October last with the death of his grandfather. Brimsley, you have told me he is the king, he is the ruler, and he is the monarch. Those are all the same things, are they not? They are all facts, your highness. And yeah, I mean, from, from the get-go, we had a, a rehearsal, just the two of us, and started to think about the brilliant stuff that Hugh and, and Golda in the Bridgerton universe present day had brought to the characters and how we can sort of paint the beginnings of their lives. And it was it was a collaboration between the two of us and Tom and and Shonda, who was writing all of this brilliant stuff for us to to to, to paint that canvas and, and create these two. And, Join the dots that lead to Golda and, and Hugh's betrayal in Bridgerton. India is an amazing person and uh, friend yeah. as well. That's <laughs> important yeah, to say. She's really the best. Important. She's the best. She's wonderful. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you both on this show. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Thank you Thanks. for chatting um, with me. Very much. Nice to meet you. Meet you.